If you wanna know how to recreate daylight in the middle of the night, well, you're in luck. I just brought the A team together, the Utah gang. We're gonna show you exactly how to do it, but we gotta go back to the beginning of the day to really show you what we're doing. So let's just build this for now. Let's get the frame up. So in order to recreate daylight at night, we need to mimic the different elements of daylight. To do this, we're going to use this really cool tool called a bluff bounce. It was invented by a really good friend of mine and very talented DP based in Sao Paulo, Brazil, Nicholas Bluff. Instead of using just a plain white bounce like usual, it has two parts to it, the blue top and the beige bottom. It's to mimic the sky and the ground. Because when you really think about it, light is not bouncing off of just plain white surfaces. It's bouncing off of the sky and the grass and the buildings. So this just replicates that ambient daylight so much better. I see a lot of new people, especially when they'll do a super complex tight knot. The mantra is time is money on set. And if I have to undo every single little knot, it's just gonna take up so much time. So just do a basic shoestring knot and you'll be good. You don't need anything stronger than that. Boom, like that. Okay, so we got this bluff bounce here. Um, just comment down below, Josh sucks. Josh doesn't know what he's doing. Three, two, one. What's up, Brutus? Nice. The way that we're gonna be going about this is Tenzin's our gaffer today. Tenzin. I'm gonna be DPing kind of the daylight stuff, and then Brady's gonna be DPing the moonlight stuff. Right now it's light out, but when we actually shoot this for realsies, it's gonna be completely dark. Hopefully the goal is to make it look daylight. Like it's just the middle of the day, or not the middle of the day, but like, like golden hour. And then we're gonna be using some mirror boards, some reflectors to redirect that light. And the nice thing is we're actually really only gonna be using one light, the Aperture 1200X. And that's gonna be giving us the bounce off of the bluff bounce. And- This is news to me. Oh, you didn't know that? Surprise. Well, I mean, hopefully we will. All right, so the Aperture 1200X has become my absolute favorite light for two reasons. It's super freaking bright, and it has the color accuracy that it just is missing from so many LED lights. With Aperture's new Blair engine, they've added all the different colors into the white light, and it feels like what natural sun actually feels like, and the camera sensor can actually capture those colors correctly. And having a bright light means you can get way further away with the light and fill a larger area and still have the power that you need. I mean, like, mwah, such a freaking good light, man. The fall off of the light looks more natural because the sun is so, so far away. <laughs> Inverse square law, look it up. Let's uh, let's strike this baby. Striking. You don't have to have another light. We're gonna put the mirror in there and then that's just gonna catch some of the light in the middle of the bounce and then redirect it. So again, like daylight, what is daylight? We've got that soft light, but then we've got hard light. So again, these like reflector boards, you can add multiple in hard light, then the soft light and then like the diffused light. One of my favorite things is light that's reflected off of big buildings outside. If you ever have been in a downtown area and like lights reflecting off a building, you know what I'm talking about. It's like this hard sunlight, but it's very soft. I want some elements of that with this. That's, that's kind of what I'm thinking of as we're going through this. I'll run some power from the garage. Honestly, I'm a little bit nervous. This is not looking like daylight right now, truthfully. So I need to, we need to go adjust some things, hold on. So we have the bluff bounce right here. You got the blue and the beige, and then check it out. We have a natural bluff bounce. Oh my gosh, look, you beige and blue. It, it happens in real life. It's crazy. <laughs> All right, so for this, we decided to use Brady's Blackmagic Pixit camera with the Blazar Kato lenses. When you have a powerful light like the 1200X, you don't need to open all the way up. And that actually makes better images because you can stop down and get a nice sharp image. Again, that's the beauty of having a bright light like the 1200X. You can get it way far back, have lots of power, don't have to open up your iris all the way. So, I mean, that's pretty good right now. I feel like it maybe looks a little warm we turn off because like we've got a pretty yellow wall. Turn off that left. Okay, wow, that makes a big difference. Let's move that 1200 like back here, just cause whenever we go down for that shot, we're gonna see it. One of the things that we just adjusted was the shadow was hitting her too hard. 
Yeah, it's nice, but it's just, it's still hard. I wonder if we use, maybe let's try the four. So that's the softest it gets, I think. We've got this 1200 bouncing on camera left, and I'm just trying to see like what looks more natural. Dang, this is hard. There's something about it that's not quite hitting it. It's not the white balance, it's direction for sure. Yeah. Everything is right heavy. It's, yeah. And we just need a little bit of left heavy up. She casts a huge dark shadow. The sky would fill that in easily. So we're just bringing back more sky, yeah. essentially. Is that too much? No, I like that. And if you just like waste it a little bit off to the left. Yeah. Okay, let me pop it into this. Yeah, I like that. In a more ideal world, I'd probably want like a 12 by or something overhead. Um, so we're kind of doing that with the wall and bouncing it off of that and then doing some more of that reflection there. The context of us being out here in the dark, I feel like is affecting. Yeah. So when you go sit down on the computer, hopefully uh, it looks more real, you know? Right there, that kind of deal. Let's just throw up the uh, ADC real quick and that'll probably be yeah, like plenty bright. Yeah. Okay, so honestly, we're in a really good spot. There's always gonna be more things that I wanna tweak and that we wanna tweak and make it look better. So if you have some some ideas and if you guys, have, if you've done something like this before, I'd love to hear what you have to say. Comment down below what, uh, what things that we should have done differently. Okay, here's the moment of truth. Does this look like daylight? All right, y'all, thanks for watching. Hopefully that was helpful for you. I learned a lot from it, truthfully. I was stressed there for a little bit, truthfully. I was like, oh, I don't know if we're gonna be able to make this happen. I'm curious just from your guys' screen if it felt like daylight, you know, without being here in this environment. So appreciate you being here. Comment down below if you have any questions. Don't forget to subscribe. And if you need it, I've got a free storyboard template down below. You can download that and, you know, be able to do better pre-pro for your stuff, but see you on the next one.